investing journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. We're going to go through some of these positions uh, we mentioned in the video. And, folks, I've had a hard time uh, ever since uh, late yesterday afternoon. Google uh, sent out a lot of videos, and uh, thank you for the responses. But, boy, <laughs> they didn't like me very much this morning. So I didn't – well, last night I didn't have it for about – 20 hours, but up and running. I think I've got it finally corrected for the third time, but they never do that. This is the soybean position that's doing really well. We also have a position in uh, December corn. Should bring this up because this was a perfect Gartley pattern. We've, I think the whole world was watching this one because it had so much support down here. We'll get up here and take a quick look at it. There's where we are right here. We've had a really nice run here. So uh, make sure that you have your stop at the very worst uh, break even because now you've made a little over $600. And there's also the potential for more. We've cleaned out the, the you know, the uh, really strong uh, support here, uh, cleaned up whatever, whatever corn was available. And now we've had a heck of a run. So make sure you locked in. And the soybean oil also was another one that was the December soybean oil. And uh, hold on one second. I'm bringing these up because I didn't get a chance to cover those uh, in the video because the fact that uh, we were uh, unable to send out the video. So that's what we're that's what we're looking at right here. This is where we were. See, we came down. Now we actually we actually bought that right here, and it went against us. But now it's back to even. So that's a good sign. So uh, that's the good part. The corn's, corn's still making money. Soybeans are still making money. But we did go against this for a little bit. It's now working in our favor. So now we know our total risk on this is less than, three, uh, less than $600. So that's an ideal situation to be in. So those are the kinds that we're paying very close attention to. Now we've been asked to take a look at Mr. Tesla. Again, more bad news is coming. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, and when you got the richest man in the world, how, what kind of bad news would it be? Uh, oh, he's not the richest man. Maybe he's the second richest. Okay, here's where we were. We gapped down today. Remember, uh, Friday, we said this does not look like it. it has a lot of support until we get down to this level of 120. Folks are only $20 away, one more bad day, and that's what we could be looking at. And as you look at this, on a, on a smaller time frame. We'll just blow it up so you can see it real easy. If you like ABCDs, and of course we do, there's the larger one, and then you have another one that's coming in. I've got, I believe you have um, uh, earnings coming out. I wouldn't I wouldn't fade the uh, short side of, oh, look at that. There's your ABCD uh, on that one. That's a three drive, folks. Shut the front door. It sure is on a daily. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Billy Bob. There it is. There's your drive one, drive two, drive three. Now let's check the time frame on this. What's the low of the day so far has been uh, 138. It's now 142, but you don't have to risk very much. Uh, let's check the, uh, the cycles from the high to the low took 12 trading days. And this has took a lot longer than 12 trading days because it's been going down more. There was the first one, so it came down. Let's just double check. If it was 24, that would really be a good sign. See, 12 or 20 would really be good. Oh, right at 18, that's pretty close. The reason I'm saying if you take 12, multiply times 1.618, uh, you should be at a bottom here in Tesla. How much of a bottom? I don't know, but we should get a little bit of a bounce uh, in these things. Okay, that's what I'm watching here uh, early this morning. So Tesla's taken care of. And of course, for all you stock traders, I will look at Apple for you. And we'll see what Apple is doing. And I think Apple starts with the big A right there it is. Put that one out. It should be up on the day too, I think. Nope, it's unchanged, but it's holding its own. There, see, we had that 382. This still doesn't look very good, folks. To me, it looks like we're 
we're going down. The overall state of the market is not nah, not that good, folks. That's basically the the bottom line of uh, what we're watching. Okay, now I did want to. Uh, someone asked me if I would cover copper. I hardly ever trade this, but the pattern was so interesting that I wanted to get it up and show you what it was like. So this get. I think it was on a. Uh, I'm almost sure it was a 13 minute. Let me get get this up here. And we'll be able to see it. I believe it was. Hold on one second. Here's where we are. It was a 13 minute. Uh, that there it is right there. You can see the the big move right here. This is where if we, we if you remember we were doing the daily pattern, and I wanted to get that up here to show you. Um, no, it was the four hour. I, I believe it was four hour because we had these marked. There it is right there. There's what we were looking at in the, in the video and everything last night. We had this perfect ABCD. It was looking for a high of 450, 40, 4.55, and we missed it. It went to 4.55.05. Missed it by uh, $10. Anyway, now your stop is locked in where you've locked in at least a $1,000 profit. And if you get really lucky, you might even get a reversal. Stop and think, folks. You got gold down $100 from here. Copper's been able to drop $0.08. Cents. Hello, operator. That, that's not a bearish market. So all we're doing is trading the pattern and see if it's going to work. It's all about risk control. That's what we're doing. But these were the ones we were following. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. And this is the final one that came right in here. And where does it match up to? It's 1.618 of the total range here. And that's why it looks good right now. In 20 minutes, it might look terrible. But the stop is in. And we're going to see what goes uh, from that level. Okay, now, is there any no other question? We'll get rid of Apple here. And uh, we'll leave the bean oil in right there. Get it out of the way, I think. And that's pretty much what we're waiting for. And I think that's pretty much what we're looking at here so far. Hold on. Here's why I think we got a chance for a bottom in the market, folks. Let me show you. This was the, this was the NASDAQ this morning. Okay, now... This came down exactly to the 78% level. You'll see here's where we are right here. See, they were right there at the 78% level. As that was happening, and as that was happening, get the old stop and you know what up, up here so we can get the uh, get the eight minute on that. And you'll be able to see it real easy. Because this was one we were really looking to be a buyer of. And sure enough, it got right down to our ABCD level right there, absolutely perfect at 07 and here we are up here uh, right at the 78% uh, level uh, as we speak right now. It looks like we're going to be going uh, a little bit higher yet, which would be up into that zone right here. That tells us that this bottom that we had here, now let's take a look at it because we want to see, we see have higher bottoms now. See, we have higher bottoms now in the, uh, oh, boy, that was a good news. Hold on. We have higher bottoms now because there's your first bottom okay look at this look at this pattern right here this would have been absolutely perfect if we were on the air that time this is an eight minute chart so let's just draw it in so that beautiful gardening that we're looking at here you'll be able to see it without any trouble there's your a b leg right a b c d right at the old 618 within about i think of a hair's breadth of that and we'll see where we were there it was, 08, and there's where we are now. What does that tell us? It tells us that this, we're being Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one strand of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've got the E-mini S&P up here over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's dropped 400 points, folks, since the uh, 1st of uh, April into this Friday's low. Okay, that was right on the 18th. Here we are on the 22nd. So that's four days. We should get at least three to five day rally in this. If it's real quiet like it's doing right now, folks, it's Christmas Day. That's all I can tell you. And hopefully Christmas Day will come on the 26th when we able to look to see where things are going. Right now, just looking at this short-term the short-term pattern right here, here's what you need to do if you're going to follow, you know, the 382s. And believe me, they're, they're really quite spectacular when you, when you have them. This was the 12th day right here. That was the day I showed you, you know, on the eight-minute chart, how they kept going down, 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 down. Look, we had this rally right here. You'll say, well, that doesn't look like 382 to me. Well, if you look at it from this level right here, okay, you'll see that it comes exactly to the 61% level, okay? But that's not the important spot. Let me show you why that is, why is the case. I'll be showing you some examples like this. Uh, a little bit later okay now you see this rally the time of this rally remember this is an hourly chart so you you're thinking it took about 18 hours about three quarters of the day to make this level okay now go back in here you can see how long this took to make that long right and how long it took to make this long right so what you want to do is take the highest level that you had and then see if that matches up with the a2382 and then as they say in the trade boys and girls You've got game, and that's uh, what you want to be looking for or something like that. Now, what we'll be seeing now as we blow this up, and I'm not a psychic reader. All I knew is that where we were on Friday, folks, the Dow, the, the NASDAQ has been trading since 1973. Only three times has the NASDAQ closed down two standard deviations in one day. Of those three times... The bottom was finally made three months later. So uh, try to, uh, you know, put that in your quiver and uh, remember it, okay? So it's a, it's a big deal. Okay, here's where we're looking at right here. Uh, this is, we're expecting about a five-day rally, okay? So we've done this in the first day. So everybody get this out of the way. You can see it broke that long-term trend line. We've got an ABCD that will be forming here. Now, this might be all we get today. I don't know. That'll take us up and probably take out the highs 
of a Friday, and uh, nope, the highs of Friday were uh, right here. That's your high of Friday. So I doubt if we're, we won't take that out right away, but I do believe we will just by the, the thrust of this. And as you're looking at this, I hope you guys are interested in this because I'm just trying to tell you what I see. I, there's, we should take that out without any trouble at all. But the easy trade down here was the 09 because you had higher bottoms and, and stuff like that that was coming in pretty good. And that would have been uh, that would have been right at the time we would have been started. So that would have been a, a really good day. But the gold one was the easiest one, folks. The gold just been straight down for <laughs> for a long time. And it doesn't seem to want to be in, uh, in, increased a little bit. Now, we do have one other one for your perusal since we like to do these live look at this puppy this is the crude oil look where we were back here remember we had this monster move here on friday and then we gave it all back on friday and where did we rally to there was your first rally okay that was of course over the weekend and if you take a look at that first rally we'll move this over right there and there it is 82.79 exactly 382 and then it comes all the way down to this level here and that means you have to recalculate because you got a new 382 number plus as you can see now we're having a a, a ABCD patterns in here and that gives you multiple ways of looking at this so we take this and we mark it off and you'll see there's where we come in today Ooh, that's going to be close to the overnight high up here at uh, 82.57, that's going to be really interesting, you know, to pay attention to today. We're at 82.09, so put that in your quiver and see if it's going to uh, work. And if it doesn't, then, you know, you move on uh, to the next one. Soybeans are picking up steam here, which is good. And, uh, okay, someone has a question. Let me get it out here in just a second here. And that is about Wells Fargo. Uh, that's W. I think this is... Uh, no, I think it's I think it's Wells Fargo Bank. I don't know if it is. Let me double check. Yep, this is Wells Fargo. Believe it or not, folks, in the midst of all this, look at people are. I I, I happen to be <laughs> I happen to be a uh, what do you call it uh, a customer of Wells Fargo. I'm not going to say anything derogatory about them. Not that I ever could. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next one here. But we've been in a really strong move here. I mean, look at this from a technical standpoint, and that's what we're going to have to do because I know nothing about it. Uh, you'll notice that the pullback here, well, we talked about this in the past because the numbers are there. There's your low right here. There's your perfect 382 within, uh, within 20 cents of the actual bottom. So that tells us that the ABCD on this particular swing, ABCD, should be coming in here at... Are you ready, boys and girls? Uh, 59, and we're at 61.20 already. So it's continuing to go higher. We had a look at this pullback right here. The market goes down. Look at this. The market crashes. Well, not crashes, mini crash. Look at this. It comes all the way down and doesn't sell off at all. What that was telling you, let's see if that was a 382. No, that didn't even come close. This is tremendously bullish right here, folks. Look at that. And then as soon as we started to go higher, my goodness, I mean, I, I just look at the numbers. I, you know, that's just to keep a, keep what's going on. That's uh, that's what I'm paying attention to. Okay, let's get that out and one more stock, and then we'll get back to whatever your questions you folks might have. And that stock is Archer Daniels Midland, and that should be starting to gain some speed now that the greens are starting to move higher. And it let's oh, this has got some good good trading information here. There was the buy that we had down here. Remember, folks? Gapped above the thing. We went almost to the 382 the last time, backed off a little bit. But let me ask you a question. When the market really moves fast, what should you, Johnny, put your card down. Everybody can see 0 0.382. So what we'll do is we'll look at the low we had back here on January the 28th. Ooh, that's a bad day in my life. That was the day my mom died. Uh, well, many years ago. Anyway, it, was, it didn't even make a 382 from this level, but it probably did through this – oh, yeah, it certainly did. Through this consolidation right here, the pullback was probably exactly 382. You can see it uh, right here. 
There's your there's your low right down here. There's your 3A2 down five days. Looks it looks like it wants to go higher. That's uh that's the bottom line of uh, what it seems to be going on. Okay. All righty. Now I think that's it. Now someone had a question about my favorite trade of the day. That hasn't been working. It hasn't been working, but that doesn't mean I still don't like it. Hold on just a second here. We'll get this up here. Now remember, folks, these are all related to charts. The, uh, the old cowboy knows diddly squat about anything related to fundamentals. Let's move on here, and we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, someone asked me to take a look at that gold thing that we were looking at today and seeing basically what we're looking at, folks. And this is... 
you know, really simple stuff. You got a you got a market that's going down, so you got a trend line that's going down. You can see that. If you wanted to make it into a, a channel line, you could put it up here, and you can see that's right out of Gartley's book. You know, A B equals C D. Now, there's other things that are important that you need to consider. Is you notice this first move that you see right here in gold. You see that move right here, and you see that move right here. Well, if what we say is true, they should be really close to being equal. So there's that one. And this one here is a little less, but it's, oh, it's pretty much spot on. And then there's the third one. There's the fourth one. There's four in a row. I mean, gee, this is telling you that, uh, you know, this market has a lot of harmony in it. And the fact that you can trade it, you know, when you're looking at it intraday on an eight-minute chart, you're able to get a lot of things uh, in your favor as far as being able to risk control. If you're flying across the Rockies over the weekend and can't put a stop in, that's not how you can trade gold. So let's remind ourselves of that. And I've got some charts to share with you that I think are very important that Rich Anderson uh, shared with us. I wanted to get this one right here. I believe, oh, this is the one. This what I, this is the, you remember, those of you that re, I said uh, in the video last night that was a total disaster. I mean, the video was okay, that getting it out by Google because it was too long. I tried to show the relationship between the S&P and the dollar index. And you notice when it diverges like this, you see how it follows down almost perfectly? Can't ask for anything about that. But right there, right there is where it diverged. That was in January, okay? Here is where we had the big buy signal right here in October the 27th. This is where the divergence is. Theory says something different happened during this time. And my guess is it was that speculative blow off that uh, we were looking for. Anyway, that's why I think it's that way. Whether it's that way all the time, I don't know. But I was, you were looking at this last night. Let's get this up here. I wanted to show you. This is the same thing, treasury bonds versus U.S. dollar index. Okay, now, you know, we bought treasury bonds down here, uh, right there at uh, 1325. We got out of them right here because it didn't go any higher than that. We actually short right now on a short-term basis, but uh, that's neither here nor there. And uh, that's only because of a 382. So what I do is I don't make my analysis on uh, something like that or something like this one here, I think, is the, the copper. You see the divert? Look at how Dr. Copper does a really good job. What happened here with Dr. Copper? Hello, operator. So what I did was I said, okay, it closed at 49. What I did was I started looking at this. That's what I was showing you before. I did it on the video that we were going to get to, oh, God, I think I did it on the video that went out. I'm pretty sure I'll cover it tonight anyway. Anyway, that's what uh, that's what I was uh, referring to. I'm looking for trades that have very little risk, good profit potential. I don't care whether it's with the trend or without the trend. It doesn't make any difference to me. You know, like that would have been just buying the S&P down there at, uh, you know, 53.07 uh, today was a heck of a move. It's It's rallied 40 handles. You know, that I got some of that, but not a lot. But, you know, I'm busy doing other things, too. But I was not short. I covered all the short positions uh, this morning, late last night, when the market could not, you know, break very much. I said, if it doesn't break hard on Monday, it's got a chance for a rally. And that's uh, what we're looking at. So let's move on here and get this out of the way and make sure we have enough time to cover everything that we're looking at. See how we've gotten. We've taken out the highs here. I don't want to, I don't want this to happen in one day, folks. I I really don't. See, this is a this is my my bucket list. No, not really. Okay, but I think this is where we are gonna go here. You see the ABCDs? There's one right here, and then we have this one. You see the strength of this? When you get on to the old uh, show on Friday, I'll show you why that's important. All you have to do whenever you come out of C, like L rocket ship, like a B C L rocket ship, A B C L rocket ship. That tells you the A B leg ain't going to work. Not a chance in the snowball. It's going to be usually a 1.27 or 1.618 retracement of this move right here. 1.27 or 1.618. So all I'm going to do is I can see that I got something to look at up here, and I'm almost sure it's 0.618. So I'm going to come over. And I'm going to change that CD leg right here to 61. 
let's get it up here, 161, and we'll see where we are. Bada bing, bada boom. Put this in your feather and hope that the doesn't make it in today or tomorrow. I'd like, well, tomorrow's okay because tomorrow, believe it or not, folks, is a four-day rally from the bottom that we made on Friday. You know, that's uh, that's the bottom line. Look, look, who in the world? You know, when I looked at those charts <laughs> over the weekend, and I saw where the Nasdaq closed, and I saw where the Dow Jones closed. I could see the Dow Jones because it made a perfect three eight two. I said, but my gosh, down two standard deviations. I said it just about has to rally. And that's why I said if it breaks last night, then get out. It's not doing that. So you're getting now a $4 rally. This is what we call, folks, Christmas in April is what it's called. It's, uh, it's really a good deal. You can't miss it because it's a broken drum, and you can't beat a broken drum. That's for sure. All right, let's move on here to uh, my, my trade of the day here. Now, this is the Japanese yen. Okay, I'm going to go down and go to a smaller time frame. I'm going to go down just to a 13-minute. And look at this. Folks, we sold it right here. That's where we sold it, okay? This was Monday. This We sold it right there. Well, it's actually got a profit in it right now. Our stop was right above here. Folks, that's only $300. So this is a one wild puppy, but it's not going anywhere. But I'm looking at it on a little larger scale. I'm looking at the whole kennel because if you look at the whole kennel, this is a big move. If I could, if I can risk $300 to potentially catch a move like that, which is bada bing, bada boom, 10 large and low operator, I'm going to do that all day long. So that's why it's uh, so very, very important. We've been here now in this level. They said it could never get above 152. Well, it went 152, 153, 154. Uh, we haven't quite been to 155, but we're approaching it. We've been here for one, two, three, four. There's five days we've been up in this area. Look how many days we were up here before we sold off. I don't know. All I'm telling you, that's an A, B, C, D uh, with a three drive pattern. A, B, well, you can see that. Get the A, B, C, D, just draw it right in. There it is right there. Uh, don't forget to factor in the fundamentals, folks. Very, very important. All right. Oh, we got a question about another stock. Hold on just a minute. I'll be right back, boys and girls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Got the stock of Goldman Sachs coming up. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, just like Wells Fargo, this is a much stronger than market stock. I mean, stop and think, folks. We topped back here in April. This thing didn't even back off. I mean, this didn't go down until the 5th, until the 12th. That was down one week. Here's the uh, list. You can see the long-term weekly. We're going to we're completing it probably right about now. Yes, we are. Well, we already done that, and we're starting to go higher. So that doesn't mean we can't we can't go higher. So that does complete that. The only other thing I would do uh, for the person that asked this question is to watch the time frame. Let's just clean this out for just a little bit here. This is as true of anything, whether it's a pork belly. Well, we don't have pork bellies anymore. You take your low. To your ah oh, shucks, that's the wrong one, Bubba. There's your low to your high. It took 23 trading days. Now, if that's is correct, we should have a 23 trading days coming in here pretty soon. Got that beautiful full moon out there. That was uh, whoo. There's the full moon day right there on that moon. So it's it's still going higher, and it is completing the. Uh, the giant – oh, this is a weekly chart, boys and girls. You can't tell if that's the full moon. There you go. There's the ABCD measures up here to uh, 402 or 415. Let's move to the daily and look at it on a shorter time frame. This is where I like to uh, play in the game. Let's get up to the uh, four-hour. Let's get it up here. That's easy enough to see. Ah, that's what I want to see. These are all the ratios. We don't need to see those. We'll just clean all that out. And uh, – Okay, here's where I think the question was asked. What do I think uh, was going to go on with uh, Goldman Sachs with the earnings coming out uh, very shortly? Okay, now here's the – this is going over since February, folks. You can see the, the larger ABCD patterns that are in here. See, there's the one. Remember the gap up where there's your A, B, C, and when it gaps up, the D is going to go a whole lot higher. Well, same thing on the way down. So here's what we have looking – we go from back here to our February low, which is 375. We take that up and we move it up right here to this level right here, which is 431. Okay, everybody can see that one easy enough. And then we have another one that is completing right here. But because of this strong move, we think it's going to go a great deal higher. There's your AB leg. You see coming out of the CD leg really strong. So the first thing you do would be to expand your – uh, you can, I can just by eyeballing it tell you it's 1.27. All these number folks, every single one of them, the square root of 1.618 is 1.27. You know, and, and all of them are there, 786, 382. They're all related. And all you have to do is hit square roots. And the first person to ever use square roots was Pythagoras back in 600 B.C. So it looks like we're going to have some good news here in the, uh, Goldman Sachs here. I guess it's uh, earnings coming out this week, so watch it <clears throat> up at least $15, <clears throat> which would be up 5%. And, of course, it could go a great deal more. Let's see the maximum that it could go to would be this 1.618 
number up here at 39. So that's what I – that's my guess. When that comes out, I'll uh, – someone remind me to see if Goldman Sachs, you know, got to that letter uh, – <laughs> <laughs> got to that level and we'll see if it's going to be uh going to be uh, okay okay now all right oh we need to look at the euro hold on one second because we looked at the dollar index let's get this up here let's look at the euro first and then we'll look at the dollar index i covered these in the videos over the weekend i know those were delivered okay it was the one sunday night that we're having the problems and here is the euro we're going to get the daily up it uh, hasn't made new lows yet, boy. It's trying to make a major bottom down in here, folks. See it right here? We're here one, two, three, four days, and we're still holding our own from the uh, 16th of uh, – we haven't gone anywhere, but, you know, we haven't gone down. So that's a pos possibility of a good sign. Now, the reverse of this is the U.S. dollar index. So we need to get that up here. So you can imagine how fast three hours trading goes on Friday while you're trading and telling uh, – DX, 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 DX is right there. And we should be getting up to that level. Almost there, not quite. See, this is what we're thinking we're going to get to is this 106.8. That's why we thought there was going to be a sell-off in the gold and silver, folks, uh, was because it, it you know does the opposite of what that dollar index does. So that's what we were looking at. Some, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Anyway, the only way you got lucky in the gold, and we tried to say that in the video, uh, that we send out, look, if you miss the top, sell the first 382 retracement or the second one or the third one or the fourth one. They all four worked. And that's what we try to do is do that. Do they work all the time? No. Do I get myself handed, my head handed to me? Yes. But I always, you know, wipe, take the napkin, wipe off the blood and look for the next trade because I put the stop in and when they get me, no problem. I'm out of dodge. That's basically what we're watching here in this dollar index. So let's look at it intraday here today because we did take out the previous day's high by just a bare minimum. Look at that. See, we just barely took that out. See, this would have been a really good trade today in the dot. We'll do that. We would have done the euro. Is this the euro? No, this is the dollar index. Yeah, look at this. This is really nice. You got an ABCD lined up right here. I see these things in my sleep, those two hours a night that I sleep. See, that comes in right there at 106. Uh, 26, the high today was one. Oops, a little off by a little bit. Well, close enough for government work. 106.26, high today was 106.12 within five pips. So let's see if we have another ABCD right behind it. ABCD. Oh, look at that. Dos. El conos dos manos with both hands you can sell the U.S. dollar, i.e. buy the euro, i.e. get ready to sell that Japanese yen. It's a sleeper of sleepers, my friends. I wouldn't do it here if it were free trade. Get this out of the way here, one second. And I want to cover, it cover the euro. And we need to get out this. We've got this out of the way now on Goldman Sachs. So we get rid of that one right here. And that should tell us... Uh, where we are and get these things better uh, what we're seeing and I don't uh, I think that was the main things that we were covering so far um, let's move on to the crude oil here because I think we got a chance at this thing coming up here this would be a real nice one folks because uh, we've had that big breakdown there's something has happened in the oil market it's not running along with the uh, market anymore <clears throat> so what you'd like to see to get this number to, to work perfectly what you'd like to see is to you have a bottom here and a bottom here. So you see a higher bottom. You're going to just see what the AB leg is and then match your CD leg to it right here. Now, if that is the scenario that happens, look what you've got. you got a higher bottom against this, so you put your stop right below there. you got higher tops. So the short-term pattern for today is still to the upside, correct? And then, and then, little drum roll there, Johnny. Point X. And you'll be able to see that you're going to make a – well, i got to draw it in the right way. There's a three drive. There'll be a three drive and an A, B, C, D. And, oh, darn thing. Just a minute. This thing is too sensitive. There it is right there. Uh, stick with me. I'll get it out eventually. I'll be right with you. So we'll be right back. Stay with us, folks.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're taking a look at the NASDAQ here. We're having a very good rally off. There's our Friday low. Uh, I said that if it didn't hold this low, I said be careful because we gapped up, pulled right back to the 78% level. We are now completing an ABCD pattern. There's your AB leg, there's your CD leg right there. That was a higher high, and that's coming in. We're our, because of this thrust right here, huh, looks, looks higher to me, folks. And remember, this has come down. Let's look at this on the daily because this was really nasty. You see, we made the 61% retracement, and it sh this was two standard deviations, folks. That hasn't happened but three times. So that's another reason why, you know, unless it totally falls apart on Sunday night or Monday, then uh, you do. And I was looking at Bitcoin because, you know, I said, well, maybe this this having will not be exciting. Well, nothing happened. It rallied a little bit. I don't know what it's doing now, but those scenarios did not pull out. There was no war uh, to bother about. So the market was oversold coming in, all these numbers lining up. And all we're going to wait now is to see. Look for this one, because this is the one that's going to count. Oh, it's going to be this one right here. Probably what you'd like to see. Wow, that's up 300 points from here. God, no, that's nothing. We've, went four, we've done 300 points already. One more day like that, we're already here. So this is what you'd like to see. But the way you'd like to see it is to see something like this. Have your ABCD leg coming in here. Just about, let's say, like something around that way. 
That's if you'd like to see this over three or four days. Oh, that's what we had in that Dow Jones. Remember, I'll just remind our folks uh, where we were here with that Dow Jones. Uh, let's get it out of here. Window and tile vertical, the Dow Jones. Where are you? Here's the Dow Jones. This is the one that was so very, very exciting on the daily. Let's get it up here on the daily. Well, I like this. This is moving good. <clears throat> this one here. When this one broke, good night, Charlie. But now, exactly 382, boys and girls. You can't make this up. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Tomorrow.